hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video we will see how can we run hugging face models using olama so nowadays there are a lot many models available few are paid few are open source but most of us who are just uh, interested in doing the experiments would definitely prefer the free version which is like the open source model and when you are saying open source model then these are the two options which we can go for so coming back to the olama so olama is the easiest way to run our llms locally whether it is your windows machine linux or a mac os so on the other hand when we are talking about the hugging face hugging face has the largest collection of models which are available on the internet and it is very straightforward to create data sets you can use your own data to create your data sets and host it on the hugging face then again you have the privilege to make your data set as a private or public now if you don't know how to create your own data set and host it on the hugging face then i would definitely recommend you to watch my video in which i have explained every single thing from start to end so do watch in the description box and you will find that link over there now you must be wondering that how we can pull in hugging face models into olama so there are a lot many ways you can do it but in this video i am going to point you to the very easiest one of the most easiest ways in which we need not to write or configure lot many things but just using the few commands we are all there so let's get started first of all i will show you how to get started with the olama so what you can do is you can go ahead and search for olama download and go to the very first link so here you can see that these are the three os which are supported so you can decide which is your operating system and accordingly you can download the olama and once the olama is downloaded you can go to models and here are the list of models which you can choose from so you can choose any model of your choice if you are very specific about running olama model but in this video we will be experimenting with hugging face model so i am not going to pull in any model from the olama so the only thing which i have done till now is i have downloaded the olama and installed it on my machine okay moving on to the hugging face part so for hugging face you can again go and search for it so it is huggingface.co and this is the portal for the hugging face so what you can do is you can go to models and here on the left hand side you can see all the categories of the task which you can perform and on the right hand side you can see all the models which are available and of course you can sort it you can filter it by the name and all those things of course you can do it here and the one thing which i want to mention specifically for this particular video is like we are looking for the easiest way so the easiest way to pull your hugging face model onto olama is by going with gguf let me quickly show you so click on the libraries and here you would find gguf somewhere so this is the one so click on gguf so this is the quantized version of the model because when we are running these models locally we want the lightweight version of these models right so gguf is the one which can provide you that offering so select the gguf and these are the models available you can cho choose any model based on your cpu capacity or the gpu which you are using so in my case i am running this model on the cpu so let's try out one of these models let's go with the 53 i would go with 5 from microsoft so let's see okay so this is the one uh, let me go ahead and try this one so click on this model and if you want to know about what this model is all about or what are the use cases it can fulfill definitely you can go through this and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab this name which is a complete name microsoft then 53 mini 4k install gguf so grab this name and now you can go to your terminal or the command prompt so i am in my vs code and i will be utilizing the same thing here let me clear this terminal first okay so what we need to do here is in order to run that hugging face model what you need to do is you just say olama run and then you need to 
paste that model name here but before pasting you need to provide the website name which is huggingface.com so you can even write hf co and then i'm pasting this let's run this oops so uh, i made a mistake there is just one l in this and here you can see now it is trying to execute this one for us let's give it few seconds and yeah so now we are good to go ahead and give our first command to this model so let's ask very very simple question because we are not testing this model or the uh, looking into the capabilities of this model whatever it is doing we'll just see how it performs so i would say what is the color of the sky which is a very simple question so let's see what it has to say and here you can see that the assistant has started providing the answer and it is saying the typical color of the sky during a day is blue and this phenomenon known as the Rayleigh scattering occurs when molecules and small particles in the atmosphere disperse and that now it is talking a lot it is okay it's done so this is the response which we have received from this model and you can see that how nicely we have executed it just using this one command now the question is let me first ex uh, exit this so I'm not sure how to do it let's try it out I just want to come out of this model okay so perhaps quit is not the correct command I may need to try buy or something well there is a help so I can search for help and here you can see the bias so using the bias switch we can come out of this model so we are all good next thing is let's say you want to use this model inside your Python code via Olama so in that case what you can do is first of all let's go ahead and create a virtual environment for us so I would say Python M you can even go with Conda not a problem but I'm just going with this one and I would say so this is the name of my environment now it is going to take few seconds here Meanwhile, I will go ahead and write the command to install Olama. So let me quickly see. Here you can see it is ready. So now I will go ahead and select my model, the environment which I just created. And it is this one. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this environment. So I would say my environment name script and then activate and here you can see on the left hand side we are inside the environment and now I'm going to install Olama in this particular virtual environment okay by the time it is executing maybe we can go ahead and write this few lines of code to understand how we can make a call to that function so I would say from Olama import chat so this is the basic code which you can even find it on the documentation and then I would say response so the response would be and now the chat is going to take few parameters the first parameter here would be the model name and the second parameter which we need to pass in so these are the mandatory parameters I'm passing there are a lot many other parameters as well which you can pass and here we need to define the messages so messages is nothing but the role so the very first thing I'm going to say is role and here my role would be user then we need to define the content so for content we can provide any prompt so let's say what is the capital of India so this is my prompt and so it is still installing we need to wait for some time and once we have this we can go ahead and print this response so would say response dot message 
dot content okay now i need to define this model name here so again we will go back to our model name and we need to copy this part paste it over here but like i said make sure to prepend it with hugging face website which is hf.co now let's give it a few seconds okay it's installed we can see green tick mark here now i'm going to execute this one and see if we get the response so this is a very small model which i have taken because i don't want to take risk of the memory out of memory errors so let's give it a few seconds and we will have our response ready is taking more than usual calculation it shouldn't take that much long actually we missed one thing so let me quickly point you to that i'm going to stop this kernel here so now we are using this model from our local machine so that means that we should have this particular model in our local machine and we didn't download that so what you can do is uh, you can just download this model and for downloading it you have a command olama pull and then your model name so i'm going to pull in this model name and will download it on my local machine so here you can see it is showing success it means this model is now available on my local machine and we are good to go ahead and run it in olama so now if i will go ahead and execute this it should work and you can see that this time response was pretty fast the capital of india is new delhi so this is how you can do it if i will reiterate what you need to do is uh, if you want to execute hugging face models in olama then you need to first install the package which is olama then you need to pull in the model using the olama pull command and make sure to prepend the website name which is huggingface.co or hf.co and once this is done you are good to go ahead and make a call to your expected model or the model which you want so i hope you got an idea and do let me know what other use cases you are having in your mind thanks for watching